All right, Steven. All right, guess what? Ha what? what happened today? Today, this Broadway husband, I mean, this Broadway husband, me, I accepted an offer to do a Broadway show. The Broadway show is New York, New York, directed and choreographed by Susan Stroman. And I'm super excited. It was, um, <clears throat> I got the offer uh, maybe like a week and a half ago. And it took me... Feels like it's been a month. It feels like it's been a month because poor Brett has had to deal with me trying to. Um, it's not that I didn't want to do it. <clears throat> I, I wanted to do it instantly, um, but you know, there's just we live in Conroe right now, and um, we have a baby, and it was just I couldn't wrap my head around us going to New York City for an extended period of time. Um, so I had a really hard time saying yes. Um, but I said yes today, and I actually feel really good about it, but I was so stressed. I think that people don't really understand, though, like, why would you have a hard time? It's a Broadway show. Like, you would just want to do a Broadway show, right? Well, I think it's hard for people to understand that like, first off, our lives were totally uprooted during the pandemic. Yeah. And when that happened, like, when the shutdown happened... You want me to hold it? Yeah, my arm is, like, killing me. Um, you know, we didn't move to Houston. Per, like, it was sort of, like, a happenstance. Yeah. So our lives have gotten really comfortable, and it's really affordable here, and we have a lot of space. And You really New, like it here. New York, I mean, honestly. You don't, it's not affordable, and you don't get space, and yeah. it's not comfortable. Um, and so it's a big shift. So what ultimately made you decide to say yes? Um, I mean, not that I didn't think that I had your support, but I think like really realizing that I had your support and knowing that you guys were going to come with me, not that you wouldn't have, but like for some reason I had it in my head that I was going to have to go by myself for like a really long time. Anyways, once I like realize that's not the case and um, and it's not so black and white, right? Nothing's black and white and it's not forever. Nothing is forever. And so it's just gonna be for a little bit. And um, I mean, I really wanted to say yes. It's like the job, I wanna do the job. Like it's, it's just, just all, like the, all the life stuff. stuff that comes with it. Like logistics, I'm like. <sighs> But I think that we also, some of the stuff we said in, in our thoughts were like, Maverick is only going to be this small once. once. And so, you know, you don't want when he starts school at five years old to regret not having done this because this is the time to do this. And, yeah, and a lot also, of people with kids said that. And also I'm at an age where I'm like, okay, great. You I also think that because our lives were so uprooted by the pandemic, we never really got to fully have closure mm -hmm. on New York. Yeah. and if, Like it was like New York was like, we were just in survival mode. Right. So now we get to kind of go and like decide. Yeah. And if we... Is this, you know, this is, right. is this goodbye? Is this what we want to continue or to is do? It, right, or is this like, how do we go back and shift mm -hmm. our lives where we were headed because we were planning on having a kid in New York there, yeah, in our East Village in apartment. We were going to figure that out. Yeah, like, we and can make this work. We'll figure it out. So now's the time to figure it out. Yeah. So we're going to document the, the whole, whole process. Um, but to, so today was the day. Today was the day he said yes. I said yes. It was a lot of grief. It was a lot of grief. Poor Brett. I mean, I cried. He had a nervous breakdown I had a nervous yesterday. breakdown yesterday. He was like in the fetal position on the couch at one point. I, I just couldn't figure it out. And I was like, if it's, if it's that heavy, then don't do it. But it's not that heavy. I just, I'm that heavy. Yeah, you're a big man. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be interesting. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi. Happy New Year. It's January 1st. And um, I just gave myself ballet class. Um, for the first time in about at least a week. I mean, it's been at least a week and um, I've been very inconsistent. Um, and I was just at home in Pittsburgh visiting my family. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm dehydrated. Because um, I didn't bring water with me. 
stupid. Um, so I just took class. It's January 1st. Um, a mistake that I just made, not a mistake, but like something that I should know better than to do is to eat Chinese food and then come and try and dance. <laughs> um, so that's kind of where I'm at today. It's January 1st. And um, as of right now, I'm doing uh, New York, New York. As of right now, I'm doing a Broadway show um, that starts rehearsals January 15th or 16th. Um, <clears throat> and before the Christmas break, I was like really um, excited uh, about it. Um, I kind of been wavering back and forth in my head a lot about um, whether or not it's a good idea for me to even do it. Um, but before the Christmas break, I felt really good about my decision to do the show and really excited. But, um, you know, so this is my journey back to the Broadway stage. If it happens, like tonight, it actually feels like it may not happen because of some of the business things that still haven't been worked out. And um, there's a commercial shoot on Friday that I'm supposed to be there and and I still don't really know if I'm gonna be there or not. Um, so anyways, so that's where I'm at. I just took a bar um, from the Dutch National Ballet YouTube, which is awesome. If you're looking to take a ballet class, take it. Um, his bar is great. I can't think of his name off my the top of my head right now, Ernst. Um, he's amazing. I can't think of his last name. Um, <clears throat> And then I just did a little bit of center. But I flew all day. So this is one, one thing I need to be kind, of, kind with myself today. I haven't taken class or done anything physical in really like a week because I was at home visiting family. <clears throat> I ate Chinese food right before I came here, which is stupid. <clears throat> and I woke up this morning at 3 a.m. to fly back to Houston and had like a crazy travel day. So I need to be a little bit gentler with myself. But... I don't think I looked terrible. I'm just very tight <laughs> because needless to say, I'm not 26, not even close to it. Um, so anyways, I feel like my body will be fine. It will get there, um, but I just have to be consistent and I have not been consistent. Um, so tomorrow I'm hoping to come back and dance again. And, um, and hopefully tomorrow I'll actually hear something about the business part of it, like if I'm actually doing the show or not. <laughs> uh, show business. Um, yeah, everything just feels really up in the air. But the one thing that I know is that it's a new year. I'm so grateful for everything that I have in my life. Um, so whether I do the show or not, it doesn't really matter um, because I love my family so much. I love my husband. I love my son so much. Um, he brings me so much joy and my husband brings me so much joy and we have, um, we just have such a great thing happening right now. So, um, jobs come and they go. And so we'll see if this one comes or goes. Um, but it would be nice to really dance again on stage, um, with awesome, awesome people. So I will report back tomorrow. I want to be consistent. Happy New Year. All right, so it's day two of um, <clears throat> getting myself into uh, Broadway shape, any kind of dance shape. Um, so I had a full day with my son, Maverick, and it was the best ever. And um, I put him down at seven, and Brett and I had dinner. And um, so then I, I went to the ballet studio. I took only a ballet bar and that was enough. Um, and I came quickly to the gym because I felt like I just needed to work out. Um, you know, I feel much better today. Yesterday I felt pretty shitty because um, I had gotten up at 3 a.m. Sorry, my arms are shaking. <laughs> I'm working out. Anyways, so I made it. I took ballet bar, I didn't do any center. Um, but I just worked out and I'm feeling much better. I just have to be consistent. Day two, um, my contract still isn't settled. So that's part of like the reason why I think I'm just kind of like, what, what am I doing? I just feel really kind of weird about the whole thing. So hopefully they'll give me an answer tomorrow about the things that aren't settled because the thing that's not settled is like an absolute no for me. So like if they can't do it, then I'm not doing the show. But if they can't do it, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> 
but anyways, it's been nice to dance again. And, um, you know, I gotta go home and go to bed because I gotta get up early because we gotta get our son up at seven and I gotta be up before he gets up. So that's it. That's all I really have to report. I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday. Um, you know, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow. All right, so <clears throat> the last time I checked in, things weren't settled and things are settled. And it is now Friday morning. I got to New York yesterday. Um, we're going to shoot a commercial this morning or today, <laughs> 6 a.m. We're almost 6 a.m. and I'm waiting for an Uber to pick me up and I'm going, I'm staying in Upper Manhattan in Harlem and the commercial shoot is in Brooklyn and it's kind of been a whirlwind 24 hours and needless to say I'm tired but I'm awake and excited to go to the commercial and um, yeah. I'm definitely much more relaxed than I was the other night because I still just didn't know what was happening. In either way, uh, it would have been fine. I just, you know, life, you need to kind of know a little bit about what's happening, especially when you have a family, you know. <laughs> so I'm in the apartment that we're actually gonna stay in and I will give you a tour of that in a little bit, another time. Um, it's really nice. I think that we're gonna be able to make this work uh, beautifully. So it's, um, things are looking good. All right. I see you. that tall boy. <laughs> You're standing up. <gasps> Maverick. <gasps> Maverick. <gasps> There's Papa. Where's Papa? Papa. <gasps> Maverick! There he is! <laughs> <laughs> Maverick! <laughs> Yay! Yay! We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk. That's okay. Let's charge it. Yeah, it needs to be charging. Yay! Yay! Yay. All right, let's go. It's 3.30, right? Yeah. Look, they're coming up. Maverick, look. Oh, God. They're coming towards us. <laughs> we ain't got nothing for you. Unless you want some formula. It's very windy, Maverick. Maverick, it is super windy. Look, we're being followed. All right, <clears throat> so today a lot has happened. Maverick's crib came and I just put it together. It's the Sunvig um, from Ikea and I made a video. So go check it out if you need some help putting it together because um, I definitely had a moment where I didn't think it was gonna work out. Um, just a little update. This is the second week of pre-pro. Um, rehearsals are going great. Rehearsals are awesome. I went home to Texas on the day off and um, it was so worth it to spend the day with Maverick and Brett and pack up the house. It's starting to feel really real considering our house was quite empty and I just put together a crib. And today is Tuesday, is that right? Yeah, today's Tuesday and they're coming on Sunday so I'm just getting his room together and I got a lot of un other unpacking to do here. Um, but things are going good and um, I just can't wait to be with my family. <laughs>